Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about one of my favorite neighborhoods and communities right near Fort Meade. It's called Piney Orchard Community in Odenton, Maryland. And let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. So if that's the kind of information that you're looking for, then you are definitely in the right spot and we really, really appreciate you being here. And if you are wondering whether purchasing a home uh, during this time is the right move for you and your family, we absolutely love helping out in any way possible. So however you feel comfortable reaching out, whether that's by phone, text, or email, days, nights, and weekends, we've got your back on moving here to the great state of Maryland. All right, so today we're talking about the Piney Orchard community in Odenton, Maryland, um, and right next to Fort Meade Military Base. So uh, this is definitely a very popular area for families and for people who are coming to work here um, in Central Maryland at the Fort Meade uh, Military Base. And um, as I've mentioned in other videos, Fort Meade is uh, really uh, Maryland's largest employer. It's got over 50,000 um, employees, people that work um, here in uh, Fort Meade Military Base. So definitely a huge draw to our area. And with Odenton, um, and specifically this Piney Orchard community being uh, so close, really about 10, no more than 15 minutes from Fort Meade. Um, it's really one of its largest selling points. So um, a big reason why a lot of people love it is that Fort Meade um, is so close and uh, just in such close proximity to it. Another thing that I absolutely love about it, and I know that um, a lot of other people do as well in regards to the feedback that I've gotten, is just how central it is to Baltimore and DC. So you're probably looking at no more than 30 minutes um, straight north to Baltimore, and you're looking probably 40 to 50 minutes down to DC. So if you really want to be right in the middle of both our metro areas that Central Maryland has to offer, um, this is really a, a spot to consider and a spot to look into. Um, another thing that I love about it is that it has a marked train stop. So if you're looking to be, you know, pretty close to uh, public transportation in Maryland, which Maryland doesn't have a ton of it, um, but the Mark train is really one of the main um, kind of uh, public transportation opportunities that we have here in Maryland. Um, this is a huge selling point of Odenton. So if you are, you know, occasionally commuting down to DC or to Baltimore for work, um, being close to the Mark train is huge and massive. So this is definitely something to look into and a huge selling point of Odenton in general. And then of course, Piney Orchard since uh, it's a community within the city and town of Odenton within Central Maryland. So definitely something to look more into. It takes you straight south to DC. Uh, the Mark train ends there, but then it also takes you north through Baltimore, and then all the way up into uh, uh, the last stop is Habit of Grace, which is Harford County, um, as you uh, head north uh, up to Philly from Baltimore. So definitely something to look into if you really wanna be close to public transportation. All right, a couple of things that I just wanted to mention about Piney Orchard Community is that it is Anne Arundel County's largest planned uh, community. So it's made up of 42 um, different neighborhoods that make up this community. So you're going to notice that it's pretty large. Um, another nice thing is that it offers really all types of housing. So whether you're looking for condos, um, 55 plus or not, or all ages, it's got that. It's got tons of uh, townhomes um, and then a, a good opportunity for single families as well. So whatever you're looking for housing type wise, uh, Piney Orchard Community is going to have it. So definitely uh, a huge plus for the, the area.
then one of my favorite things about this community and about this area is really how quiet it is and kind of uh, almost a little secluded. So I'm um, kind of using Fort Meade as a reference um, spot. If you're heading to Piney Orchard from Fort Meade, which means you're going to be driving south um, down 170, which kind of turns into Piney Orchard Parkway. It's kind of it's all the same road. Um, but if you're looking at a map, that's what you can be looking for. Um, it really is kind of it's not super close to any main highway. So um, that's kind of one of the things that I love about it is that it's it's very quiet you don't hear a ton of road noise it kind of has that secluded feel um, but if you really want to be close to major highways to be able to quickly get uh, in and out um, this may not be you know a, a great spot for that but if you really like to feel you know like you're a little secluded you really don't want to hear that highway noise this is really a really cool spot for it and as you're driving into it another thing that i'm kind of a huge sucker for um, especially being from southern california where we just don't have a ton of trees and stuff is driving into piney orchard um, you just see you know trees everywhere um, driving down piney orchard parkway you get some really nice views um, heading south uh, of all the trees and then on east and west both sides um, so just really cool scenic uh, views as you're driving through and as you're driving into this community. Um, another cool thing is it's really, uh, it's, it's really surrounded by a ton of woods and forests. So as you're driving south into Piney Orchard from Fort Meade, all west is there's going to be a few communities. Um, but as you get further west, it's really just surrounded by a you know, bunch of federal land. Fort Meade um, owns it according to the tax record. I was looking at it earlier today. So hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acres back there, um, which just makes it such a really cool little private, quiet area. So if you're looking for that and you really want to be close to Fort Meade, this is definitely an area to check out. All right, next I wanna mention the amenities of this community because this is something that Piney Orchard does really well. So if you're coming from out of the area um, and you want to have things really close by to do and you really wanna you know, have some opportunity to meet other people and other families, um, this is something where you're living um, in an area that's gonna have a ton of amenities right in your backyard. So this is an easy way to meet other people and to have things close by to do where you don't have to make those long drives and those big commutes. So um, definitely something to check out. They've got a, um, a really cool indoor uh, pool and hot tub. They've got several other outdoor pools. So um, during the summer, definitely a ton of opportunities to, to hang out outside um, at the pool. So that's definitely something to check out. One of my favorite parts about Piney Orchard is the interconnective trails that they have. So um, this is something that you'll notice within the communities, you'll just see paved trails go back into the woods. Um, so this is just a great opportunity if you like to be outside um, walking, hiking, biking, um, doing those types of things. Um, you're gonna see trails all throughout this Piney Orchard community. So that's something that I think that they do really, really well. Um, they've got a really cool ice rink. So that's just something kind of random that not a, not a lot of areas out here have. So that's something to check out. Um, and then they've got you know a ton of other things to do. Um, I'll make sure to put the uh, website in the description. So if you wanna go check out their various amenities, you can do that. And then one of the coolest things that they have, is gonna be this 45 acre nature preserve. Um, so this is something to, um, it's just really fun to get out. You know, you can see a ton of different wildlife, you know, deer, foxes, various kinds of birds back here. So um, if you like uh, being outside, um, this is a really cool place where it's just got a ton of opportunities to do that. You really feel like you're surrounded by woods, surrounded by nature, and really all of Piney Orchard. So definitely a huge plus. Um, and definitely I would check out this nature preserve. So it's got really cool paved trails um, back, and then it turns into an unpaved trail that goes by I'm sorry, that goes back to this really nice sized pond and it just kind of circles the pond. I mean, it's just a really, really cool area. It's 45 acres according to the Piney Orchard website, uh, but looking on the maps, um, and when I was back there the several times myself, it felt much bigger than that. So um, tax record shows that it's like over 160 acres and then there's several hundred acres that it butts right up to of other protected land. So when you're back there, you just feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're out in the sticks. So um, a really cool area if you wanna get outside and just be in nature. So definitely something that I would uh, highly recommend that you check out. And another cool thing is that Piney Orchard has its own little marketplace, um, just several little shops and, you know, a little retail center, which is cool because, as I mentioned, it's not really, uh, it is a little, you know, secluded from other areas. So if you didn't have that, it would be, 
you know, a decent, you know, 10 to 20 minute drive to kind of most, um, you know, retail things or supermarkets or stuff like that. So um, having this little marketplace is really cool. It's got a food lion, which is kind of like, um, I don't know, like an Albertsons or a Vons, just kind of your typical grocery store. Um, they've got, you know, several little sit down, you know, places to eat. They've got a Subway, a barber shop. Um, they've got a Dunkin' Donuts, which is really cool. So you gotta, gotta have one of those nearby. So um, right there in Piney Orchard, right off Piney Orchard Parkway, you've got access to, to this shopping and to this um, you know, little shopping center. So definitely something nice and convenient to have right in the area. And then if you're at that marketplace, make sure to walk behind it. They've got a really cool um, community center pond back there with paved trails. They've got some, you know a couple little playgrounds back there. Um, there's some tennis courts back there. So when you're behind that shopping center, you're gonna see that Piney Orchard Community Center, um, which is just a really cool spot too if you wanna get outside and just do some walking and um, kind of enjoy that, that, that community space they have there. So definitely something cool to check out as well. Next, I wanna mention the Piney Orchard HOA and how it works, because it can be a little confusing, especially if you're hopping online and looking at a property within the community. So um, for a lot of homes within Piney Orchard, you're gonna see two HOAs. And the reason for that is, is because Piney Orchard um, is gonna charge the homeowner twice a year. So they're gonna uh, pay the HOA for Piney Orchard semi-annually. And the second one is gonna be for uh, the, the community that that property is in, because there's, there's gonna be sub-communities within Piney Orchard. So that's gonna be why you see two. A lot of times the, the sub-community uh, HOA is gonna be paid monthly. So you're gonna see that maybe range from $50, uh, maybe up to $100, shouldn't be any more than that. Um, and then the Piney Orchard HOA, which is paid semi-annually, um, is going to range anywhere from $200 to roughly $500 semi-annually. And the reason why there's a range for that is because Piney Orchard charges it based on the assessed value with the county. So they just kind of piggyback off of whatever that value is um, and they charge it based on that. So you're gonna see some of the smaller, um, less expensive uh, condos. You're gonna see those down closer to 200, 250 paid twice a year. And then as you get up to the larger single families, that's where you're gonna see that stretch up to four, $500 paid semi-annually. Um, and it's because it's charged based on that assessed value. So hopefully that'll help um, lessen the confusion as you're looking at these listings. You often are gonna see two HOAs and that's kind of where that breakdown comes from. All right, and last but not least, wanted to mention what you can expect uh, price-wise from homes here in the Piney Orchard community. So first I'm gonna start with townhomes. You're gonna see a lot of these townhomes um, range in the, low to mid $400,000 range. So if you're looking for a three or four bedroom townhome and that's gonna meet your needs uh, for what you're looking for, that's the kind of the typical um, home sale price uh, for those types of properties here in the area. If you're looking for single family um, in order to meet you, uh, you and your family's needs, those are gonna jump into the low to mid fives and then up into the $600,000 range. So that's what you can expect from single families. And then condos is where you're gonna see um, a lot more of this, the 55 plus, um, you know, opportunities. And then they also have all age um, properties within the condos as well. And your typical uh, median sale price is gonna be $300,000 for the condos. And those tend to be two beds, two full baths. So that's kind of what you can expect from the condos. You do see occasionally a three bed, two bath. Um, there's not really not many one beds um, like you might see in other parts of the Anne Arundel County and then into Howard County. So you're going to see a lot of those two bed, two baths within, within Piney Orchard. Um, and you can expect that low uh, 300 range for those types of condos. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about Piney Orchard community here in this video. And if you need anything at all, please feel free to reach out and we'll see you at the next video.